Hi, uh, it's Mark. How you guys doing? I'm sitting in a chair that leans back and I was gonna go way far back. Good day. Welcome to the channel. Dog bit me. Blue blocker glasses on. Out in the sun. What more could you ask for? But we'll leave it there. <clears throat> 2019 is coming to a close. And this year we lost a lot of um, so-called vegan influencers that were a bit on the extreme and they didn't know how really to eat. They just went after crazy things and led a, uh, a calorie deficient lifestyle. So, is that really what you want to do is follow somebody who had led a calorie deficient lifestyle? so-called healthy lifestyle even vegan diet a vegan diet can be very healthy for you as long as you're following the, the natural protocols for human to how to eat carbohydrates pro i'm gonna say proteins amino acids and fats then you get your whole list of i mean uh, micronutrients so we lost a lot of people who were deceiving people behind the scenes you guys know who they are do I need to hand them out? Nah, you guys know who they are. Even on Instagram, had some big accounts. Who behind the scenes really weren't who they say they were. We had a bunch of false prophets. They say, oh, we're vegan, we're vegan for the animals. Yes. No. Boo. They, somehow or another, Oh, I'm sick. The vegan diet's causing me to be sick. Actually not. You cause yourself to be sick, people. If you're not doing things correctly in the life of the human-specific diet, you will cause yourself major damage. But also, at the same rate, there's plants out there that can help you cure your SIBO. There's ways to do it. So... It's up to you how you want to live your life, how you want to eat, how you want to feel. And generally speaking, I'm 52. For the last six years, I'm on a plant based, whole food, plant based diet. I'm now, processed foods. Life is great. Where was this in my 20s? Where was this in my teens? If I had this brain capability, concentration level back then as I do now, who knows what the future would have held. I probably wouldn't have been a construction worker, but nevertheless, that's a great experience. I love the arts. I love being outside, working. Oh, the dog's seen something. They see a squirrel. Hey, hey, Pete. No, oh, somebody outside. No big deal. That's their job in life. I probably wouldn't have been. I probably wouldn't have been drinking. I probably wouldn't have been doing a bunch of crazy shit that I did in my thirties and forties. I probably would have been super, super magnified, magnified intelligent as I am now. It's crazy how life goes by. Once a year we turn the page. Okay, that's enough. Shush. Once a year we turn the page on this so-called date. Uh, I said be quiet, young man. Hey, Pete, come here. Stop it. There will be no editing to this. Cause I do have fur babies. Come here, get up here. Let that dog bark. Come here, come on. I got two little shits. They're my mom's dogs. Now they're mine. Poor mom. She'd have known what I'd known. She wouldn't have to gone through the, the lifestyle she had the last two or three years of her life. Maybe longer than that. She wouldn't have been smoking. She wouldn't have been uh, pharmaceuticals, antidepressants, a whole myriad of things. Sad. Once you know the truth, 
about life and about the human Pacific diet. Specific diet, not Pacific diet. Specific diet, how your life changes. How you want to be. You eat from the sun. You got to be in the sun. You got to eat the foods that give you energy through the carbohydrates. Complex carbohydrates, not simple ones. So you want to stay away from the bad ones. Okay, this is my little rant right now. I'm glad that some of the trash has been taken out this year from our community and let them go be theatrical in other forms. Let them go bash on other people. Let them try to bully other people. But you and me, we're going to be stay true. We're going to stay healthy. We're going to stay vibrant. We're going to stay calm. We're going to stay 100% within the realms of human-specific diet. Have a great day.